Hey Soul Fam, how's it going? Today I have for you a yoga flow for the arms and the abs. So we'll build some strength today with some nice challenging yoga asanas that will help build some strength in our body and um, kind of get our little yoga workout in for the day today. So when you're ready, come join me on your mat and we'll begin in a child's pose to begin. So however you like to take your child's here, you are more than welcome to take it. So whether that's with the knees together or out wide, the arms can be extended or down by the sides. Or maybe we might we like to make a little pillow with the hands to rest the forehead on. And just taking a moment here to close the eyes and tune into your breath. Just take a moment to become aware and present with your natural breath. Just taking a moment to be still and prepare our mind and body for some yoga. One more breath. On your inhale, gently finding your way up to your tabletop position. And we'll just move through a few rounds of cat cows just to warm up the body a little bit. So with the hand shoulder width apart, knees are hip width. On our inhale from the sacrum, we'll draw the belly down to the mat and lift the chest and chin up. Exhale, pull the belly in, round the spine, bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, belly draws down, lift chest and chin up. Exhaling, rounding the spine, chin to the chest. Inhale, waving up, lifting the head. Exhaling, rounding. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, waving up. Exhaling, rounding. Inhale, coming back to your neutral tabletop. And then to start firing up the core, we'll extend the right arm and the left leg. So we come into our balancing tabletop. And we're flexing the left toes down to the mat and we're reaching through those right fingertips. And we'll add in some crunches. So as we exhale, bend the knee, bend the elbow, and with control, bring them towards each other underneath. So we can connect the elbow and knee here. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull the belly in. Bring the elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Come back down to your mat. Beautiful, we'll switch the sides. Extend the left arm, the right leg. Pulling the belly and ribs in here, core is already engaged. Exhale, bend the knee, bend the elbow and tap. Inhale, extend. Exhale, engage in the core, pull the belly in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, two more. Exhale, pull the belly in. Inhale, extend, last one. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, we can gently whew, come down to the mat. On your next inhale, walk the hands forwards a little bit, tuck the toes under and lift the hips up to our downward facing dog. And just take a moment here to paddle the feet and stretch the legs out. A nice full body stretch here. On your next inhale, shifting your weight into a plank. On your exhale, either knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Lowering yourself down as slow as you can with control. Hooking those elbows into the ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Just taking a few breaths here in our upward dog. 
We can always press the tops of the feet into the mat here to lift the kneecaps up off the mat, engaging those quads, pulling the belly in, shoulders roll down the back so that we're opening that chest. One more breath. Exhale, we can bend the knees, tuck the toes under and take it back to our downward facing dog. Paddle the feet. And then on your next inhale, lift up the left foot into your three-legged dog and we'll hold here for a few breaths. Keep that left hip facing down to the mat. We're not opening the hip out to the side. Keep that left hip facing down. It's not about how high we can lift that leg up. Flexing those left toes down to the mat. On your exhale, bend that left knee and start to take it over to the right side. Slowly with control, open yourself out to the left. We can drop those left toes behind you and come into your wild thing. The left hand can come up off the mat. Slight little bit of a back bend here. Reaching that left hand. Exhale slowly with control. Bring that left palm back down to the mat. Bring the left leg back over. We can step that left foot through in between the palms. Keeping the back toes pressing into the mat. That heel is nice and high. Inhale, reach the arms up, coming into a crescent lunge. Oh, strong legs. Belly and ribs are pulling in, the core is engaged here. And we're lifting up through the pelvic floor, engaging the perineum. One more breath. Exhale, release the hands down. And we can just step this front foot in a little. Oh, mind if you're on a slippy four. <laughs> we can just step that right, the, sorry, left foot back in a little. So we can start to ground down through those toes and bring the palms together in prayer. Exhale, gently take off the right foot and come into your warrior three. Maybe the, uh, the right toes stay on the mat behind like so. Maybe this is how our warrior three looks for us today. Just finding your variation. Finding what feels good. We can have a bend in that left knee. Deep breaths. We can always use some blocks here for balance if we need. If we can't quite keep the hands together in prayer, that's fine, use your blocks. One more breath. Exhale, Ooh. bend into that left knee. We can bring the right toes back behind, step it back to your downward facing dog, and just take a moment to paddle the feet, stretch the legs. On your inhale, shifting your weight into your plank. And again, exhale, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga, lowering yourself down slowly with control. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, taking it back to your downward facing dog. Let's take a moment to pad all the feet. And then we'll move on to our right side. So on our inhale, lift up the right foot into the sky, coming into our three-legged dog. Again, we keep that right hip facing down to the mat. We're not opening the hip out to the side. Keep that right hip facing down. The toes point down to the mat. Strong arms here. Squeezing those palms into the mat. One more breath. Exhale, bend that right knee. Start to take the foot over to the left side. Moving with control here. 
we can bend into that left knee so we can bring that right foot down the right palm comes up off the mat coming back into our wild thing reaching through that right hand nice strong left arm exhale slowly with control finding your way back to your downward facing dog oh we can bring that right foot back down to the mat take a moment to paddle the feet step inhale step that right foot through to the mat ground down through the toes of the right foot inhale coming up to your crescent lunge and again the belly and ribs are engaged here we're lifting up through the pelvic floor perineum is engaged or muladhara bandha our energy lock is active here one more breath exhale Whew. we can release those hands down and with control step back in that left foot a few paces just take a moment to ground down through that right foot so we can really squeeze those toes into the mat and bring the palms together and press inhale exhale leaning into that right leg we can gently take off the left foot coming into ooh, your warrior three maybe one side's a bit wobblier compared to the other and that's okay just taking your time if you fall out of the pose to just gently find your way back in or we can use our blocks again nice deep breaths i'm going to use blocks on this side as i have pulled my right hammy a little bit so just listening to my body and not pushing myself too far so that i injure myself even more so some nice deep breaths here keeping that left hip square to the mat we're not opening out to the side one more breath you got this exhale we can bring the palms down to the mat gently step back that left foot then step back your right into your downward facing dog take a moment to paddle the feet and stretch the legs on your next inhale shifting your weight back to your plank we can then just gently one by one bring ourselves down onto the forearms coming into our forearm plank so we have the body in nice one straight line here the butt isn't lifting up and we're not dipping in that lower back pull the belly in so we have a nice strong straight line from heel to head and we're pressing the elbows into the mat here and just making sure the elbows are hip width apart if they're a little bit wider or a little bit too narrow we can adjust ourselves Whew, keep pulling the belly and ribs in few more breaths one more breath exhale Whew. bend those knees bring them in and just take it back to a child's pose for a moment however you like to take your child's pose just taking a moment to allow the breath to settle one more breath on your next inhale slowly just bring yourself up to sit up on the heels we can bring the hips to one side and the legs round in front and we'll find our way into our boat pose so we can bend the knees here bring the soles of the feet to the mat and just finding your balancing point on your sacrum on your tailbone or your sit bones if you will so just finding that nice little balancing point keep the chest nice and open here the shoulders roll down the back and one by one we'll lift the toes up off the mat bringing them in line with the knees 
And we can stay holding on to the backs of the knees here, or we can take it up a notch by bringing the arms in line with the legs. Nice deep breaths. Ooh, already feeling that core working. If you find you're rounding in the spine here, try and actively reach that chest through. We can always lower the legs down to take the pressure off. So just finding your variation of your boat pose. One that still challenges. We don't want to make it too easy that we're not working the core. Oh, I'm shaking. Deep breaths. One more breath. Exhale. Ooh, gently bring those feet back down to the mat. Beautiful. Next, we'll just bring ourselves down to lying on our backs just for a couple of laid down stretches. So just casually coming down to lie on your backs. We can bring both the knees into the chest here for a little hug. Maybe a quick rock side to side to massage the back. If you feel like there's some space between your lower back and the mat here, we can make a little triangle with the hands to just place underneath the sacrum. And that will just help eliminate that little space we have in the lower back there. So just finding your nice, comfortable triangle hands underneath the sacrum. And we'll extend the left leg down to the mat, but not all the way down. We are hovering that left leg. And we'll extend the right leg up. And we'll do some single leg lifts. So we can point the toes. Exhale. Lower that right leg down to the mat. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. If we find this too intense, we can lower that left leg down to the mat, but for the purpose of engaging the core, try and hover that left leg. Exhale, lower the right. Inhale, lift. Two more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Last one. Exhale with control. Lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the knees, switch the legs. Inhale, extend the right leg down, lift the left leg up, pointing the toes. Exhale, lower that left leg. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, two more, you got this. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen, last one. Exhale, hover. Inhale. Extend, exhale, Ooh, bend those knees. Give yourself a very generous hug here. Maybe a rock from side to side. Beautiful work. And then we can just gently roll over onto one side and just help ourselves come back to sit. And there we have it, our nice oh, yoga, but the arms and the abs are done today. Hopefully we've felt that. I'm definitely feeling that one in my core today. Thank you so much for joining me today as usual. I always appreciate you guys coming. Please like the video if you enjoyed. Maybe save for later. You can always leave me a little comment below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more, more free yoga content. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I hope to see you next time. Namaste.